we know right now no Ben Roethlisberger playing in this game, no Cam Hayward, and I think he said was it Joe Hayden initially? I think it was. Those are the three that he named, and he was I basically just so. alluded to like veteran players. He did say that Najee Harris would be playing though, so <sighs> I guess we'll start with the easiest part of this thing. Um, ben Roethlisberger, right? Not playing in this first preseason game. I don't think any of us have an issue with that. I do not want him playing. I was about to say, I did not want him playing, especially knowing the Hall of Fame game. Now, granted, they've improved the field and stuff like that, but I still got PTSD since my man Sweesh went down on that field, man. So, yeah, Ben don't need to be out there for that. And then when, and when I think of Ben in the preseason, I don't think of him playing in more than one game. I always think of one Two series. Two series tops, just yep. enough to get a Game little. three. Yeah, just, just get your toe wet. I don't want your first action to be in the regular season, but that's all I need from seven. I know sometimes with people, they want it because of how it ended last year, they do want to see him play a lot more in the preseason. I personally don't need to see that. I do want to see him out there, though. I think that's kind of where I feel with On him. the sidelines? No, no, no. I'm just saying like in one of these games, I want to see oh, him at least yeah. playing one of these preseason games. That's kind of my idea with that, though. And that's what I'm thinking. Game yeah. three, that's usually been his regimen. That's at least Correct, what right? I remember of this past decade. Mm-hmm. It's plays the third preseason yep. game, gets out there for two series. Maybe maybe sometimes he stretched it to halftime, mm-hmm. but that was about it. Yeah. Well, because, you know, that was the talk, though, man. Some people were saying that they feel like he should be out there a lot more because of how it ended last season and because new coordinator Matt Canada just getting more acclimated with that. Then some people thought he shouldn't be out there at all. Don't have a single snap, at you know, not one game rep in the preseason. That's what I would prefer just to completely get rid of the injury risk. Mm -hmm. But. There is something to just hey, like I'm, I'm sure Ben would even just be like, hey, I want to get out there just yeah. for a couple series, just to get a little tune up before the regular season. So that is just normal protocol, I think, with yeah. Ben Roethlisberger. No, absolutely, not a surprise man. at all. Absolutely. So we're good on that one. That's why I said that's the easiest one. Let's get that out the way, put that the rest. But you know, we got to have that conversation literally every preseason game, whether he is playing or not. I'm because- actually surprised people were talking about that. No, it's, yeah, I, th- yeah. I, th- I just yeah. view it as a given. Well, you have to think, man. During this offseason, people really wanted Ben gone. D- d- you did see that, right? I remember. It was okay. a battle. Yeah. It was a battle yeah. in the offseason. Yeah. And then it wasn't like the well, organization I, I just came out day one and were like, yo, man, he's good. We're paying him. Like, Remember, it was like that real life conversation going on. So that has carried over. And that is ultimately why it's a, <laughs> this it's conversation a, it's a da- has to It's happen, a damn bro. shame. It's a yeah. damn shame. You know, we were, we were talking about Mars a little bit earlier, right? Sure. And we know when it comes to different planets... They got different regulations on their grooming, man. You can't be going up to different planets, especially Mars, which is stuff not you know in order. So my Mars, friends Mars at is strict. Manscaped, they, they're very strict. Wow. They're very strict, which is why at Manscaped, that lawnmower 4.0, you know you can go out of space with that, right? Damn, it's regulated. Oh, what? Come on, man. We super regulated over here. Yes, yes, yes. Our friends at Manscaped, they create the best products when it comes to below the waist grooming i'm talking they're undefeated now not just below the waist if you need to go into your other delicate areas the lawnmower 4.0 is perfect for you because not only does it have the light so you can see you know we talked about that sometimes some places a little bit darker need to turn the light i mean if you're navigating through space come on now on the final frontier yeah you want to make sure that you can see you don't want any asteroids getting in there especially when you're down by the stub we don't want any of that all right Watch out for those meteoroids too, man. Just, hey, keep them separated. <laughs> All right. Slow and slow. Low and slow. But with that lawnmower 4.0, that performance package that we love to talk about, because you know the performance package, that's actually something that we're giving away later on. But with the performance package, it comes with that lawnmower 4.0. It comes with those weed whacker trims. Yeah, because you can't have them nose hairs, nose hairs, ear hairs. I don't know, Deke. The people aren't on the dating scene, but I've heard it's not really attractive. People yeah, it's not a good look. Man. It's not a good look. So you don't want those problems. But you got that in that bag right there. Also a travel kit so you can put everything in there. And we can't forget the ball reviver and the crop refresher. Keep those balls revived. Keep that crop refreshed. It's that simple. And it would not be a promo. It would not be a sponsor if we did not have something for you, man. So what we have for you is a promo code. And the code is MOATS, M-O-A-T-S. To receive 20% off along with free shipping at manscaped.com. You don't want to miss out on it, baby. 